Hey there. Let's cook something different today. How about we make a sweet potato pie? Sweet potatoes are really a, a great food. Not only are they good for you, but they taste good. That's a that's an odd combination. To find something that's good for you and also tastes good. Oh, the sweet potato. Now, I've eaten a lot of sweet potatoes. I've eaten a lot of sweet potato pie. But I have never in my life, believe it or not, made a sweet potato pie. So today we're going to do it extremely old school and we're going to do it we're going to bake it in a campfire dutch oven now that we got them peeled <clears throat> i gotta cut them up i gotta cube them and i'll show you the best way i've found to do that tomahawk Nice, sharp tomahawk. This is a little trick that I discovered when I was had to peel some rutabagas. Just take that tomahawk. Give it a little, a little back and forth. Keep your fingers out of the way. You get a lot more control over that tomahawk than you do a knife trying to do the same thing. You can use it a lot like a Alaskan, what is it? Ulu? And talk about a smart tool for peeling rutabagas. If you like rutabagas, you can hold hold that your fingers out of the way and you can peel a rutabaga in a hurry. With a good sharp hawk. Now that we've got those sweet potatoes peeled and cubed and in that little small dutch oven there i'm going to build a fire i'm going to cover those with water build a fire and cook them up this little cast iron dutch oven is something that we looked for and found on the internet because we wanted one this size that we could simply carry with us in the car when we when we go camping and this is the first time I've actually cooked anything in it and uh, what we want to do right now is we want to check these sweet potatoes to see if they're ready to take off of the fire just a stick I picked up oh yeah oh yeah these are ready to Pull from the fire. I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit. Drain them and strain them. Strain them and drain them. And then uh, get to work on the next step. Surprise, surprise. The queen joined me out here. We're uh, making sweet potato pie in a cast iron and I'm helping. The whole can? Well, is that about, not quite the whole can. That's a about a cup so you want about three quarters of a cup of that now the recipe I'm gonna put a, uh, the recipe at the end of this video and if you want to pause the video and write down the ingredients that's that's fine uh, one of the things that I didn't write down on my recipe board was evaporated milk then this recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of evaporated milk 
and so that's what we're adding to the mix now. We've got the bat, the uh, the crust is sitting here, waiting on everything else to get ready. Uh, all we got to do is is dump it, work it, roll it out, and put it in the pie pan. But the recipe for this particular rendition of sweet potato pie uh, calls for sweet potatoes, of course, and the recipe said two cups. I think I made more than two cups because I was judging by the eye. I was eyeball calibrating what it would take to fill up, you know, to make a, a nine inch pie. And two cups of sweet potatoes wasn't going to do it. So I just kept on whittling on, you know, and, and added enough to do that. You've got a third of a cup of butter, a half a cup of sugar, two large eggs. Wait, did you use brown sugar? No, that's just plain, that old okay. plain white poison sugar. Okay. Uh, two large eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And now we're mixing those up. And, and evaporated milk. Three quarters of a cup of evaporated milk. And, and the butter is, it, there's still a little lumpy, but that's okay because we're not inside using an electric mixer. So it'll be fine. And that's ready to go. So now it's time to turn to pie crust. And before, before we uh, do the pie crust and roll it out, I'm going to get some coals going for the Dutch oven. See, this is ready to add the water and then form the dough ball and then roll it out on the board. So that'll be the next step. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first made from scratch pie crust that I've ever made. And the Queen has coached me on how to do this. So here we go. Okay, so get your fingers in there and get some flour out on your board. What if I get it in this cup first? Well, just get used to getting it in your fingers. Your fingers are going to get full of flour anyway. So, so just get some and rub it around on your board. Rub it around. There you go. That's a little much, but just push it to the side so it won't be too much on you. Well, right well, now, you also got to roll your, you put some on your rolling pin. So I can use this stuff right yep, here. Yep, yep. Just roll, get your rolling pin floured up so it won't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it with your hand. There you go. Okay. So is that all right? Yeah, that's good. Okay. okay. Here we go. All right. So now, now we're going to add water. How's a that for uh, old school? <laughs> We're going to add water a little bit of time. Now you stir it up as I do this. You, you be stirring. Do we want that bug that fell in there? Yeah. Protein. No, no bugs. Protein. That's three teaspoons, four teaspoons. Keep stirring. Five. Six. I'm avoiding the bug. Seven. I don't see a bug. That's because it's still in the cup. Eight. See, it's coming together. Just put that bug in there. No bugs. Maybe one more. Nine. Okay, it looks like it's just about come together. So now, what do I do with it now? Now just get your fingers in there and get a lump. Mm -hmm. Get a lump? The whole thing. <laughs> oh! So I've got to kind of Does it feel like it's going to fall apart on you? No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, just clump it up in a ball. Clump it up put in it a ball. Up, put it over there. And put it on the, on the board. On the flyer. Uh -huh. There you go. Right here in the middle. Now what I do is just kind of work it. Well, a little bit. Yeah, you can work it. Got Flop knead, it over. Knead it just a little. Oh, oh that's oh, you not good. you need more flour. Yeah. That's fine. More flour. Okay. Where's the mm -hmm. flour? Always be ready to have more flour. Always be ready to have more flour. Okay. Now, I would just... Hold on. I would just roll it out. Make it in a round ball first? Mm-hmm. And then roll it out. Ooh, 
them coal stink. Wait. A little bit on the top. Mm, yeah. Life is a learning curve, people. Go the other way. <laughs> See, I grew up calling this thing a rolling pin. Some of our friends up in Kentucky call it a dough roller. Kind of, yeah. Go out from the center. Go out from the center. And put 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 flour on there. Just start with sticks so and put flour on there. There you go. Go out from the center toward each corner. Yeah. Ugly, it's not round. It's okay. That's about it. It's ugly. Isn't it? Now, this is the trick getting it up. Well, we need a pie plan, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Where's that pie plan? I'm going to get my, I'm going to work it a little bit, get it off the board. Full flower. Well, that's what happens. Is it going to break? Well, if it breaks, I'll start over. No, no. You just stick it back together. Okay. Fold it in. Oh, I usually fold it in half, but it's good. It's good. And what you want to do with those little cracks is you take your finger with some water on it and you seal up the crack. There you go. And they, these uh, big thick ends, I'm just going to roll them in. And because I like, I like a thick crust. Mm -hmm. and instead of cutting it. And Wait, we need a piece for over here. I need some of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gluing it on. Okay. Well, it sure is ugly. Mm -hmm. And over here didn't kind kind of come up as far as, that's but that's right. okay. That's all right. So now what we need is we need our other this stuff here. Mm-hmm. And spoon to kind of. I just, it, in there. it got so brown. So I thought you put brown sugar in it. That's the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Need a bigger spoon, but you know. Okay. Huh. So this is a one crust pie you're making. Right. Should we make it pretty on top with swirls and stuff? No, it don't matter. Just... Alright, there it is folks. Alright. We'll put this in the Dutch oven, get the coals on it, and we'll be back in a bit. Alright folks, it's taken a lot longer to cook this in this cast iron Dutch oven than I thought it would. Now, that's just the way it is when you're using a recipe off the internet or out of a cookbook we're in entering into a different world and rather than taking 40 minutes uh, I had to make some more coals and get them on there and the cook time on this has actually been closer to two hours so I've pulled the lid and I've, you know, I've been checking it as we go with the, with the stick. It smells good. It's still, huh, it smells delicious. It's still a little, little moist, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I'm going to get the camera moved around and give you a, little look at it if I can do this I'm 
my old ugly homemade crust. Set things back up here. I'm going to get in front of the camera now. It's been good. It's been fun. And I believe what we got here is a sweet potato pie. The queen's coming out here to check on me. So... I'm going to get this out of this and take it in the cabin and the queen and I are going to have some of this to go with our mm. our evening routine. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.